Hey guys, Zarak. Hey guys, Zarak here. And today I've got my Going Second 10 e deck to show you all. Now this is a really, really cheap budget deck, thanks to all the Megatin reprints. So I hope you enjoy this deck profile and consider picking the deck up. So to start with, we've got three copies of 10 e Spirit Adhara. Now all the 10 e's have the first same line of text which is if you control no effect monsters you can special summon this card from your hand then if you control a face up non effect monster you can banish them to do something else adhara adds one of your banished worm monsters back to your hand and they can be banished from your hand or from your graveyard and adhara is also a level 1 tuner which facilitates all your synchro plays we get three copies of Tenyi Spirit Ashuna. Now, Ashuna's Vanish effect allows you to banish it to special summon any Tenyi monster from your deck, except itself. Also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn, except worm monsters. So just be careful with your synchro, with your other plays, after you've used Ashuna. We have three copies of Tenyi Spirit Vashuda. This is another level 7, so with Ashuna and Adhara allows really easy access to level 8 synchros. And this one's graveyard or hand banish effect allows you to bounce one card your opponent controls, which is really, really useful for breaking the board or forcing out negates of your opponent. Two copies of Tenyi Spirit Shathana. This allows you to Essentially, it's a form of protection for your non-effect monsters. If they would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can banish this card, special summon the monster back, and then destroy one monster your opponent controls. So it allows you to get round big monsters that you might not be able to run over by battle in certain situations and so on. And of course, one of the really good thing about 10 monsters is because this deck isn't played very much, people don't know what they do. So they play into their effects rather than playing around them. And again, we have that with 10 Spirit Nahata. This allows you to reduce a monster's attack by 1500 when it battles a non-effect monster. So it puts your monks up to effectively 2500 attack and puts your berserkers up to a massive 4500 attack almost. And we have one copy of Tenny Spirit Mapora, and this allows you to negate any targeting effect that targets a non-effect monster you control. So that's the Tenny part of the main deck done. Now we get on to the other engine cards. Got two copies of Mare Mare. This is an honorary Tenny. It's a worm, it's a tuner, it's level 7, it can level modulate, and it makes huge numbers of tokens um, that just allow you so many explosive plays and link climbing and so on. Really, really strong card. Allows you access to your level 7 Synchro, which is a copy of Yazi, and allows you really easy access to so many links. One copy of Phantom Sky Blaster. This deck doesn't have to normal summon, so sometimes you use Phantom Sky Blaster as a way of making huge numbers of tokens and just allowing you to start your plays off that way. Now we get onto the disruption part of the deck. We have three copies of Effect Veiler. It, this could be any hand trap you want. I've gone with Effect Veiler because I think it's the best one at the sort of budget price to performance ratio as it were. It's also a level 1 tuner, which is relevant in some situations. Two copies of Lava Golem. Three copies, sorry, of Lava Golem. This could be Kaijus, it could be Sphere Mode. I went with Lava Golem, again, because the deck doesn't normal summon, and Sphere Mode is quite expensive, so I felt Lava Golem was the best balance between price and effectiveness, because obviously, unlike Kaijus, you get rid of two monsters with Lava Golem. And you can also do, obviously, cheeky plays like summoning your Lava Golem over two of their monsters, immediately bouncing it with Vishuda, and now you've got your Lava Golem back in hand should they come back next turn, and you've essentially cleared a massive part of their board. And we have one copy of Dino Wrestler Pancratops, just as a generic 
easy to special summon monster. Gives us, again, it's level 7, so it gives us easy access to our rank 8 plays. And just, it's a quick effect pop for any card that is causing us a problem. So now we get into the spells. Three copies of Flawless Perfection of the Tenue. This is your field spell. It gives all your non-effect monsters complete protection from monster effects and also gives us card advantage when your opponent special summons monsters whilst you control a face down or a non-effect monster. So the protection is the main reason we play this but if the game goes longer it just gives us so much extra card advantage. Three copies of Vessel for the Dragon Cycle. This is the best starter in the deck. If you control it's set a foolish burial for any worms, and if you control a non-effect monster, you also get to search a tenye. So it dumps your mare mare in the graveyard for you to revive it later with shaman, and searches you tenyes if you need them. A heavenly dragon circle allows you to tribute worm monsters, search them for other worm monsters, and then special summon them if you tributed a non-effect monster. This allows you to push through extra damage for OTKs, search for the monster you need to get into the graveyard to use its effect, and you can also banish it from the graveyard to search for any Tenyi card in the deck. Three copies of Pot of Avarice. This is your main recursion. You burn through your extra deck really, really fast. Sometimes you need to put your copies of Monk or your certain Tenyes back in your deck so you can use them again. Then we just have some one-offs. We have one Terraforming to find your field spell. One Monster Reborn as generic um, extender. Gets you back your Mare Mare, gets you back any Tenyi. One Mind Control to break the board or force negates. One copy of One for One gets Adhara or Effect Veiler if you need a level one tuner out of your deck. And also helps unbrick monster cards from your hand. And obviously your tenies can all be activated in hand or grave, so it's essentially free for this deck. And then One Foolish Burial, again, puts any tenye in the grave where you need it or puts Mare Mare in there for you to revive it later with Shaman. So that's the main deck, now we get onto the extra deck. We have three copies of Monk of the Tenyi. This is generic level one Link with a thousand attack. It's got no effect, so it has all those synergies with your non-effect cards. It's your main, it'll be your first stage of all your Tenyi combos essentially. Two copies of Shaman of the Tenyi. This is a really, really strong extender in the deck. It brings back any worm monster from the graveyard with the small cost of discarding a card, which in this deck with so many graveyard and banish effects doesn't matter, and preventing you from using Tenyi effects summoned from the extra deck except Tenyi monsters. Again, most of your combos will be leading into Tenyi monsters first anyway, at least in the earlier stages of the game, so the downsides of this effect are relatively minimal. We have one Draco Masters of the Tenyi. This allows you to break boards with massive ease if you've just summoned a Mare Mare or made lots of tokens with um, with a Phantom Sky Blaster or you've cycled through lots of monks. And it also just can't be destroyed by battle with an effect monster. And it's got three really nice downward pointing arrows. Two copies of Berserker of the Tenyi. This is your 3k beta. It gets all of your non-effect synergies. And it's only a link three. So it's not as much of an investment as a link four. Then one copy of Tenyi Spirit Sahasara. This allows you to protect all of your effect monsters. Bear in mind, all of your non-effect monsters already have the protection from the cards in your graveyard and your field spell. And it allows you to make massive tokens that your opponent might struggle to deal with. One Lamparincus, generic, link to, non-effect. 
Sometimes you don't have the requisite materials to make a shaman, so you have to make this instead. When we get onto the synchros, we've got one Draco Berserker of the Tenyi. This is an absolute OTK machine. It's essentially the Dex Boral Sword. It, if it destroys a monster by battle, it gains attack equal to the monster's original attack, and then it can make a second attack. And when your opponent activates a monster effect, you can banish that monster. On Psy Frame Lord Omega, ripping cards out of your opponent's hand is really good. Also, returning your banished cards to the graveyard is really, really useful. Sometimes you're made to go first, so you can make this. And it's also just a really, really disruptive 2800 beta that's hard to get rid of. One Yazi, Evil of the Yang Zing. You're making this with Mare Mare, generally. And it's just really, really strong at popping your opponent. It obviously pops your opponent's cards, or can't be destroyed by them, and brings out any tenure you need from the deck. Note, remember, you can't use this if you've used Shaman that turn already. Then we just have generic rank 4 overlays. So we've got one Light Dragon at Ignista. This is just a really, really cheap generic rank 4 that allows you to protect all your monsters and blow stuff up with non-targeting disruption. And then we have one copy of Tornado Dragon. This is your back row disruption. It's a quick effect. It's generic rank 4. And it's really, really cheap. So that's the deck. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, the deck has lots of different avenues you can take. This is going second variant, but obviously you can build it going first as well. Um, the deck can run cards like both Majesty's and Vanity's Fiend because it doesn't normal summon very much. Um, you could add an access code package if you could afford it, or change the hand traps up to include, say, Nibiru, Ash Blossom, the new newer one from Eternity Code, and so on. And also, you could add in cards like the Selene access code package. You could add a Halkif Fibrax package. There's just lots of different options that you can use with this deck to... Uh, increase its potency or adapt it to your playstyle. So I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you again soon.